It's an uncommonly warm February day, and I'm out here in the backyard with Tolba, the eastern box turtle. Let's see if you can find him in the grass when he starts to move. This is his first time ever exercising out here in our backyard, so it's a very exciting day. You may also be able to see hanging from the trees, a series of bird and squirrel boxes. I've got four in the backyard and one in the front yard, with hopefully more to follow. But we've gotten a start using the various boxes that people have donated to me with much gratitude, as well as two squirrel boxes that my dad and I made. But the star of our show today is Tolba. And this is only Tolba's second video. His first video was made just when he got to my house, introducing him and his setup. As you can maybe tell, I have trimmed his beak a little bit, but it still needs some work. So we'll be getting to that very soon, perhaps today. I've brought out the Dremel so I can work on it. When he gets tired of soaking up rays. As you can see, Tolba is very active. And he is always raring to go. He's also very brave, not only around people, but he doesn't seem to be alarmed by our dogs or cats. I had to bring Wunyo in though because he wouldn't stop barking at poor Tolba. Tolba didn't really seem to care, he just continued walking on. <laughs> but still, I wanted it to be a nice, peaceful experience for him. And as the weather gets warmer, I will definitely be taking Tolba out as much as possible. As you can perhaps tell by just looking at him, he does have metabolic bone disease from improper care. And so it's very important for him in particular to get lots of ultraviolet rays from the sun as well as from his cage lighting and plenty of calcium in his diet. Other than the obvious shell deformities though, he's in very, very good health now and is of course, as you can tell, vigorously active. And this is of course our backyard at our new house and as the season progresses, we're definitely going to be planting a lot of native prairie plants in a couple areas in the backyard, as well as we want to plant a lot of fruit trees over here on the side where we are right now. So when Tolba and the other animals come out here in the future, they won't just be walking across flat grass. These here are two of four apple trees in this area. The other two are behind me. So we will have other fruit trees as well on this side. And along the white privacy fence, we hope that those will all be prairie wildflowers. So it'll be a tall prairie area. And we will be planting stuff from our old house as well as we'll actually be scattering seeds very, very soon. So we can look forward to that. That'll be an even better area for the animals to go out to, you know, as opposed to flat grass, which a lot of animals don't really like, depending on their species. But I know Puka Possum and probably Tolba would prefer to, um, to go through a more thickly planted area rather than out in an exposed place like this.
Here he comes. And he is being so active that it's difficult to find a place to sit and record him walking. Because <laughs> at any place that I pick, he is gone from there in a flash. And here he comes. I wasn't totally sure it was warm enough for him today. It's been like 60 degrees lately, which doesn't sound super warm, but it's t-shirt weather for us. And, well, he certainly seems to be doing well. I figured it was better than being stuck indoors for yet another day. He clearly really appreciates the activity and the enrichment of being outside. He hasn't tried foraging for anything yet. But of course it's pretty early in the year for most insects to be active. I'm sure later in the spring he will be happily chasing things down. Hello again. <laughs> so fast. And you can look forward to many more Tolba videos. Exercising out here in this yard, as well as at other places, exploring nature, and being a turtle. 